I'd go further. I'd go, life is wasted on people. Hey, Greenberg, what are you doing these days? You know, I've been in New York, but right now I'm really trying to do nothing for a while. That's brave at our age. Dear Starbucks, in your attempt to manufacture culture out of fast food coffee, you have been surprisingly successful for the most part. The part that isn't covered by the most part sucks. Greenberg. 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 I really think Greenberg, the name in general, just sounds like a sitcom. I do. I think na 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 na. Greenberg. It just sounds like a sitcom. Greenberg is neither of those things. Greenberg is a new film from Noah Baumbach. And I have to say this. Everything you saw in that intro is everything Greenberg is about. That's it. So Greenberg comes from Noah Baumbach, the Woody Allen of our times. He's a character who doesn't really know what he wants to do with his life. And after he comes out of a mental breakdown, he really doesn't know what he wants to do, even before that. And we find out that our character, Greenberg, Roger Greenberg for that matter, is loud, he's moany, he likes to whinge, he's cynical, and he's a bit of a bore to other people. Until Greta Gerwig's character comes into the scene, we find out that she's a sweet-natured little innocent girl who only wants to find someone, well, kind of, to get along with. And she finds that in Greenberg, but she's come out of loveless relationships and from just having sex to just having sex to just having sex. So what happens with Greenberg is we take it slow, and through the film, we find out that we're meant for each other, even though they're a mismatched pack. Yeah. Here, they do work, and overall the film has messages throughout which sum up this film, in particular, which I will talk about. Now Greenberg, the reason why it really works is two things, uh, Greta Gerwig and Ben Stiller. Greta Gerwig does have a heartbreaking performance and she's very good in the film. She's funny, she's sweet, and most importantly, we can feel for her. But even better is Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller is a character who, I said, he moans, he whinges, he has narcissistic qualities, and he also has a cynical point of view to life most of the time through the film. Ben Stiller is a character, as I said, he moans, he whinges. But the best part is that we can feel for this character through this part, and that's what I like about Noah Baumbach's films we can feel for people who are better off than us. That's really hard to do, and he does it perfectly here. As I said, Greenberg has different things running through it that basically sums up the entire film. The lines go through the film where he says that he isn't one of these Los Angeles type people who just likes to make everything about themselves, but he does, and that's not necessarily a great thing about the film. Next part is the best thing about the film. Greta Gerwig, in part of the film, says to Greenberg, well, I like you because you don't try to make yourself successful. What I mean is by anyone else's standards. That's what I like about this film. It's a film that doesn't try hard and is brilliant because of that. It doesn't try to be an over movie. It's not trying to do that of, you know, melodrama. It's an indie movie that isn't too indie. It's a movie that is fresh, it's funny, and it's also heartbreaking at times. Greenberg isn't a movie for everyone, I will say that. Greenberg does have a character who is, you know, at times you can't see why you would care, and I felt that in the first, what, 20 or so minutes. So, through these themes, through these different messages, we get the overall picture of Greenberg. It's not one that forces it upon you, and Ben Stiller is brilliant. He can carry the emotional weight, and it just shows me what an actor he could be. By the end, we get one little hint of Noah Baumbach's charm, and Brilliant. You know like the squid and the whale? Where it just ends on a whale? Perfect. Greenberg is even more perfect with its ending. Where it just says, this is you. He, she just says that one line and the camera goes on to Greenberg's face. That's it. A movie that doesn't try hard to be overly dramatic and it works because of it. It's a movie that's funny, fresh, sort of frank and most importantly affecting. Quietly affecting and it does it subtly and it does it brilliantly. Yes, the character, yeah, maybe you can't care for him at times, but overall Greenberg really does work. 9 out of 10 for Greenberg. My dog is sick. Survival rate is about 50-50. This is stupid, but I can't catch it, right? I no, guess. no, it's something only dogs can get. I want to be doing nothing. I'm doing nothing deliberately. You like me so much more than you think you do. I don't understand what happened.
to me. It's huge. You finally embrace the life you never planned on. If I can see-